Welcome to the News at Noon. I'm Brenda Rodriguez. We start with this. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled to overturn Roe v. Wade this morning. That means that abortion will be a felony in Idaho in 30 days. The Supreme Court voted 6-3 to uphold Mississippi's new law that bans abortions after 15 weeks. And you can see how they voted. Here is a live look outside the courthouse. The court ruled 5-4 to overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade decision, which made abortion legal in 1972. The ruling will now give individual states the ability to determine abortion issues. Several states across the country are planning to ban abortions or put new restrictions in place. 13 states have trigger laws, including Idaho, and Idaho's current trigger law passed in 2020. It will take effect 30 days from now, and the law makes abortion a felony in Idaho, with exceptions only to save the life of the mother or for cases of rape or incest. And you do have to provide a police report for that. And reactions have been pouring in from Idaho lawmakers including Republican Senator Jim Risch. He released a statement that reads, in part, Roe v. Wade was wrongly decided in 1973, resulting in the death of millions of unborn babies over nearly half a century. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court took a major step to right that wrong, ruling the U.S. Constitution, and it does not provide for a right to an abortion. And Republican Senator Mike Crapo said, my strong commitment to supporting measures that protect the rights of the unborn remains unchanged. I believe abortions is wrong and should be limited to cases where the mother's life is imminent and da in imminent danger. The court's decision upholds my belief that states should have the ability to protect right to life. And Governor Brad Little uh, said, I join many in Idaho and across the country today in welcoming the high court's long awaited decision upholding state sovereignty and protecting preborn lives. The decision provides clarity around landmark cases at the center of passionate debate in our country for nearly five decades. And this now clear, the right to an abortion with a judicial creation abortion is not a right expressed in the Constitu U.S. Constitution, and abortion will be entrusted to the state and their people to regulate. In Idaho, Democratic Party Lauren Nicochea released a statement saying in part, I never expected to see such a great rollback of our, of our rights in the 21st century. I am shocked that young Americans just lost the right that their parents were guaranteed and for which their grandparents fought for. And Boise Mayor Lauren McLean tweeted, I am infuriated and intensely worried. The decision to terminate a pregnancy is deeply personal and private. This decision by the Supreme Court will, uh, will, be devastating, will have co uh, devastating consequences, that is, on the health, privacy, and economic independence of women throughout our country, state, and nation. 